Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. Hold your ears. Spirit come through for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Hey, Virgo. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend, and I hope you have an even better week. Let's tap into this energy like we always do. See what changed. See what stayed the same. Spirit come through for a Virgo. For the Virgos. Collective read for Virgos. Okay? Now, guys, remember when I do a general love read, that's for everybody, not just Virgos. You guys are so used to Virgos. <laughs> Yeah, we like they all for us. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I guess that's kind of my fault. All right, well, this one is definitely for Virgo. Okay, Spirit come through. And I have some messages for Virgo. It's kind of my fault. I always do Virgo reads. Spirit come through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's because y'all numbers are so good. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for helping my channel grow. Okay. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you. All right. Spirit come through. Spirit come through. Mm -hmm. First position you have, Virgo, is... Mm, you got the Five of Cups, first position. Four of Cups. King of Pentacles. The Sun. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you got the Star. Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles, mm -hmm. Death Card in Reverse, we have the Lovers, we have the Two of Wands, okay. Okay, Virgo, let's see what's going on. What you got going on? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not bad, not bad, not bad. What you got going on, Virgo? What you got going on? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Mm hmm. We have one, two, Three, four, four major corners. We'll definitely take them, okay? Uh huh. That's the energy that's current right now, all right? That's current energy, all right? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. Mm. Somebody's feeling stuck, somebody's feeling trapped, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It might be their own self imposed prison or something like that. Um, Somebody might can't see the forest from the trees or something like that. But it's something that they, you know, it's their own egotistical energy, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Either you or your person, yeah. Somebody's not seeing something clearly. They got their own self stuck, okay? You might be feeling stuck in this situation that you can't get out of. Your person might be feeling stuck in a situation they can't get out of, okay? You might be stuck in your emotions over this person. But it's not It's not that you're stuck. It's This is what you want right now and nothing else matters or something like that, okay? Yeah, baby, new beginnings in love. Somebody owes you an apology. Something happened real quick. This might have started off really good with this individual individual okay no matter who you're here for male or female might have started off really good with this individual but it fell flat real quick uh-huh this person wants to come back they feel that it could have been more 
but they didn't put enough effort. You didn't put enough effort, something like that, okay? However you look at it, you got an apology so clearly they didn't put enough effort, okay? Yeah, baby, they they say this definitely could have went a lot further than what it did. Some Maybe some interferences or something like that. Maybe some immaturity with these page energies, okay? Mm -hmm. But they want more now, okay? They're coming towards you too, fast movement towards you, all right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know it too. High priestess energy, the truth is being revealed, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of you are very in tune, psychic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. High priestess energy. You can read energy like nobody's business, okay? You can read this person like nobody's business. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want them, sometimes you don't due to that fact, okay? When you read them, at times they make you mad. When you read them, sometimes you feel sorry for them. You have a better understanding of, of them. But mo most of you, sometimes you read them and you say, never mind, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. First position, we got the Five of Cups. This person misses you. Mm -hmm. They miss you just as much as you miss them. It looks like you guys are missing each other. Okay? Yeah. Somebody's full of regret. Shame and regret. Mm -hmm. Whatever went down here in this situation, okay? This person didn't invest enough time. You know, they didn't They didn't take it serious or something like that. This person is regretting it. Okay? Mm -hmm. This person is regretting it. I don't know. You know, some people's love language is just totally different from others, okay? Mm -hmm. This person could have thought they was giving you their best, and you like, what the hell is this? Uh-huh, uh-huh. They could have thought that they was giving you their all, honey. You All you saw it as was a pudding cup or something like that, okay? Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, anyway, this person misses you a great deal, okay? They miss you a great deal deal and they want to come and apologize to you they see now their mistakes they see where they fell short uh -huh. they n see your person was holding back mm -hmm. they was doing it deliberately too uh-huh they was holding back okay possibly because they thought that you was trying to manipulate them for their money or something like that you, they, they thought you was some sort of gold digger or something like that however you look at it, this person is very egotistical okay this person is very um i should say uh <sighs> a lot of pride you know, a lot of prideful, egotistical energy, pride in that ego. This person thinks they're, you know, more than what they really are, okay? Nothing wrong with that. It's just a little arrogant with it, all right? Mm -hmm. But what they did discover is that you make them happy, okay? This person can go all around the world looking for something different, but it, it was not, the difference couldn't touch your different, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you made them happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, now they're ready to invest in you, okay? This person could already be in a committed relationship, okay? And I don't even care if they are in a committed relationship. They still want a commitment with you, okay? They're still holding on to hope, all right? The star card, okay? This person is holding on to some sort of hope that they will have a chance with you or something like that. It's like hard for them to release you or something like that, okay? Because they feel that you're pulling away. They feel that you don't want them anymore. Mm hmm mm hmm yeah. Yeah, because you felt they didn't want you. They was offering that little pudding cup right here. This is the two of pentacles. Uh-huh. This person was breadcrumbing you. They wasn't giving much. All right. They could be very frugal, very cheap. This person could have been trying to juggle you and someone else. And however you look at it, there was no change. Okay. There was no change. And you like, mm -mm, this is not satisfying to me. Okay. I see you love them and they love you too. We got the lover's card here. You guys are in love. Okay. But you got a decision to make, Virgo. You got a decision to make with this connection. Every now and again, this connection comes up. So this is definitely a certain a certain group of you, okay, every now and then, again, this, this energy comes up, this is an energy of somebody who regrets losing you, regret not in investing enough in you or something, into you or something like that, this person misread you, misjudged you or something like that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this person tried to get you before you got them, okay, some of you might be very attractive, okay, very smart, very independent, okay, uh -huh. and people see you as a user, people see you as, you know, a gold digger, people see you as um, you only want them for their money, okay, especially this particular individual, okay, but what you have shown many people is that you have never needed anybody for their money, you always had your own, okay, yeah, you fell back, you moved on, or you're trying to move on, mm -hmm. leaving to be happy, and now this person wants to come in, uh, see if they can give you some sort of token of their appreciation or some sort of apology or some sort of um, indication that they recognize you, they love you, they want you, can we try again type energy, okay? Because I do see you guys did fall in love, hands down. You still love them, you still, they still love you. 
Uh huh. But for for some of you Virgos out there, love is not enough. Okay, you need consistency. You need effort. You need to feel stable. You need to feel comfortable. Okay, you need security. Okay, you don't feel secure in this relationship. Okay. Yeah, you have never felt that this person was all yours. I'll say it that way, okay? You have never felt that, okay? Because this person does hold back. They hold back deliberately. They try to act like they're not into you, but they really are, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. Mm. Yeah, some of you may be too much for this person, okay? All right. And you realize that, too, because you have given them a chance to, you know, try to come correct or try it again. Try it again. You know, try another way because this way ain't working. But you see no change at all. This person isn't changing. You have the death card in reverse. What you see is what you get, okay? Even though they love you, okay? What you see is what you get, all right? And sometimes what you see, you say, I don't want that. I ain't getting that. I don't want that. Uh -huh. I see this person once made you happy. You make them happy, too, with this sun card. But for some reason, it's, something is just not enough. The consistency, the effort. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Somebody just not making enough effort for you. All right. Mm -hmm. Know your worth, Virgo. And this is the problem. You do. You know your worth. You put yourself first. You make yourself a priority. Okay? And it's best that you do. Okay? Because this individual don't know nothing about that. Okay? Uh -uh. They never had to do that or something like that to whoever they were dating previously, whoever they were now. They never had to work that hard for anything. Okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you like, you're going to have to work that hard for me or it would be nothing. Okay, this person wants you to forgive them. We got forgiveness, 38 at the top. All right, some of you have to exercise some forgiveness. You're too pissed off at this person because you got to admit sparks do fly with this person. You do have some sort of uh, energetic pull to this person. You know, this person does ignite you in some shape, form, or fashion. Yeah, you do love them, okay? Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Some of you could have a birthday September the 1st, September the 4th. Okay. Some of you could be between the ages of 38 and 40. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spirit come through. Yeah. Huge ego. Huge ego. This is your person. You could have a birthday September the 17th. Huge ego. First of all, you got to get past this person's big head. Okay. This person is very egotistical. All right. They think they them shit. All right. And they may have been until they ran into somebody else that was a shit and they, they can't share the spotlight or something like that. Uh-uh. You intimidate them. You make them feel like they're not nothing. Okay, this is definitely a dead end. Some of you have already ended this with this person. But the love is still there. Okay. 45 at the top. Yeah, you may have ended this with this person, Virgo. But that love is still there. They still crave you. They still think about you. Mm -hmm. You know it too, High Priestess Energy. You know it. Mm -hmm. In fact, you already told them this. You might have told them from the start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you might have told them that from the start. But they have to get their shit together because when you're done, you're done. All right? And that's pretty much your energy. It doesn't take much for you to change your mind anyway. Uh-huh. It don't take much for you to change your mind, especially when somebody likes you more than you like them. And for some of you, this person did. They liked you more than you liked them. Or they do now. Okay? Spirit come through. Might have been some sort of tables turn type thing. Okay? You might have been the one that was doing all the chasing and all the longing. All the smiling. Mm hmm So you didn't see it going too far. You said, never mind. <laughs> Sounds familiar. That Virgo was... <laughs> That, nerd, that Virgo would throw in a towel quicker than the cat lick his ass, I swear. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, happy, happy. You're in a very good place now, Virgo. You're not letting anybody take you out. You're good energy. 26, could have a birthday, August the 26th. Very happy energy. Let me get these cards. They didn't fail. Okay, very happy energy. It says happy, happy. Yeah, you're in a really good place. Your energy feels good. You sleep good at night. You're not stressing. You're not worrying. Yeah, some of you could take or you, you could take or leave this damn connection with this person. 
Yeah, you feel like it, it is it is what it is. It's going to be what it is anyway. Peace. You have made peace with this situation, okay? Uh huh. Some of you used to fight and long for it and, you know, crave for it and pray for it. You're at peace with it now, okay? Rather it go somewhere or not, you are at peace with it, okay? Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, some of you feel that it's time to go, all right? Whatever that means to, for you. Maybe you need to leave this person for, uh, go, uh, alone. Maybe you're you're ready to move. Okay, it's just time to go. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't no longer you no longer want to be in this person's energy or something like that. You just feel it's time to go. Mm -hmm. Somebody's watching too. We have observer. Somebody's watching you, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Again, you could have a birthday on the, uh, September the 26th, September the 23rd. You could be between the ages of 45 and 49. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some older Virgos as well as younger Virgos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Truth be told, honey, truth is being told. September the 14th, you could have a birthday September the 14th. Truth is being told. Yeah, your, your family is starting to see this for what this is, okay? Uh -huh. You have breathe in reverse, okay? Some of you need to breathe. You might have a birthday September the 29th, okay? Some of you are still, like, hooked on this person. Some of you are still kind of lost and turned out over this energy, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it looks like that you, you know, you will breathe again or you're going to get back your... You're going to get back your confidence or your, or the energy that you have exuded to this person. You're going to pull it back, okay? This person took a lot out of you. Mm -hmm. They knocked the wind out of you or something like that with a goodbye or something like that. Yeah, you're going to pull back your energy though, okay? Yeah. It's pretty much always like this, Virgo, you know? As soon as you give up, as soon as you change your mind, as soon as you accept the situation as it is they have a change of heart and want to come back at you okay this might be somebody who likes to chase or who likes you to chase them okay yeah you got a confession coming in soon this is my confession yeah somebody wants to tell you something okay you might have blocked them you have they have no access to get to you or something like that all right if they're not blocked you come off feeling blocked you come off feeling like you just don't give a damn like you don't want to hear from them okay if you haven't blocked this person, this is how you make them feel. Like you just don't care anymore. All right? Mm -hmm. You're going to be receiving some sort of gift, okay? Uh -huh. Somebody has something for you. They're trying to impress you, all right? Mm -hmm. This person is also watching you, Virgo. Be very mindful of that. Somebody's keeping tabs, okay? Somebody's eyeballing you, watching you. Creepy-ass eyeball. Mm-hmm researching you looking you up somebody's interested in you okay you could be living in an apartment or something like that a lot of newsy neighbors watching you or something like that some of you could be moving out or moving in a lot of people are watching you researching you trying to see if you can get approved for the apartment or something like that many of you might be moving right now okay this is the tea yeah might have been hard for you to find something you feel all the apartments is just too too expensive or something like that, okay? Spirit come through. We got plotting. Someone is up to no good, Virgo. Be very mindful of that, okay? Yeah, you got a lot of jealousy. It always comes through for you, okay? Somebody wants to be you viciously. Oh, my God. You're getting clarity on it, too. Somebody wants to be you, okay? Mm-hmm. Somebody copies everything you do, okay? They may wear your they hair like you. They may buy the same clothes that you buy, wear the same shoes that you buy, wear the same fragrance. They might get their nails done like somebody wants to be like you. You watch these people that you call my best friend or good friend, okay? Uh-huh. Somebody wants to take over and be you. You do it too well or something. Spirit God's not going to let that happen, though, okay? This is why you're getting noticed right now. And they're telling you to be cautious. And you know exactly who they're talking about when they say be cautious, okay? Yeah. All right? They may got bad credit, okay? They might be jealous of you having good credit. Cleanse your energy, all right? Cleanse your home, all right? If you need some money, sage. If you spend all your money, sage again, okay? That's right. Go smudge, all right? It, it, it does more than remove negative energy. It also brings in blessings. It brings in fortune, okay? All right. 
Ah, shady ass energy getting the hell away from you is in reverse. All right, cleanse so that shady ass energy could get the hell away from you. All right, some of you are studying, stay in these books. You got an exam coming up. All right, it's a really big exam, okay? You will do very well. You will pass, okay? But you have to start concentrating. You got too many distractions, okay? Get back to those books. You have a really big exam coming up, okay? Spirit come through. Mm-hmm. You got a non-committal energy, or you yourself might be in very non-committal energy right now. You just don't want nobody. You just want to kick it. You want to fuck who you want to fuck, hang out who you want to hang out with. You want to do what you want to do, you or your person, okay? I believe it's you right now, and this person wants more with you, and you say, uh-uh, I changed my mind, okay? Not wanting anything serious, okay? Casual, fuck buddy, smooth charmer, superficial, and selfish, okay? Uh-huh. That might be the energy that you're finally in. Thinking about yourself, putting yourself first. It's okay to get a little selfish at times, Virgo, okay? Now, I know some of you are longing for a relationship. Some of you are longing for some people, okay? This is not your read, all right? Don't try to make it yours. I see all of y'all try to make all my reads yours. Now, you know that's not possible. There's too many of you out there. It might, some might resonate, but not everything, okay? All right? Some of you, uh, your person is with a very toxic person karmic or you may feel your person is a to toxic karmic mm, let's see refusing to see how destructive the connection is okay staying regardless of red flags convenience marriage codependence okay your person might be with somebody that's very toxic they may be already in a committed relationship already married or something like that okay mm -hmm. You got some love messages coming to you soon. This person is going to start texting you more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They text you now, but they erase it. Trying to find the words to communicate with you without sounding like they sweating you or something like that. This person might got a real scary obsession over you. Be mindful of that. Somebody do. Okay. Either the person who wants to be you. Or this person who wants to love you. Hell, the one who want to be you might be the one that want to love you. I don't know. Okay. You know, I don't judge. Everybody be dating who they want to date, okay? Whoever it is, they got a very high sex drive, okay? They love it. The more the merrier, uh -huh. as often as possible, okay? Yeah, watch that dark magic, okay? Using witchcraft on you. Consulting with dark energy. Using spell work to keep you stuck on them. Dark, resentful intentions. Somebody don't want to let you go, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Very high sex drive. You might have gave them sex once or twice, or they wanted with you real bad if you never gave them any. Okay. All right. Now you know when you give um, somebody sex, that is an act of magic. Okay. You can't just be giving your 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 jewels to any and everybody. You can't just be giving your cookies to any and everybody. They they can't they can't handle that. Okay. That's a very seductive act. Okay. Mm hmm There you go. There you go. Need I say more? You keep fucking these energy vampires thinking you're going to say, all right, that was nice. They ain't going nowhere. Uh-uh. Then they're going to feel that you owe them. They're going to feel like you belong to them. Okay? Uh-huh. <sighs> yeah. We got looking within, shadow work, self-reflection, calling out to guides. All right? You're calling on your spirit, guys. That's good. Okay? You're asking for guidance. Oh, that's cool, too. All right. Looks like some of you definitely need it. All right. With all this negative energy that follows you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've been trying to release it, though. Freedom, releasing the ex, embracing single life. Yeah, you've been trying to release it, okay? Yeah, some of you have broke up with this person. You're done. You don't want to see them anymore, okay? Yeah, you might have to cut the uh, cord, though. You might have to do a cord cutting because they're not going to waste that easy okay releasing toxic love shadow work cutting ties with the karmic spiritual lessons and ascension yeah somebody's not either you or your person need to cut some sort of ties because somebody whoever they're trying to release is not going anywhere okay this also could be your energy you might be trying to cut ties and release this person and they're just not going anywhere okay mm -hmm. very negative mindset too okay not being able to see the light reaching rock bottom Person might be taking an L. Person might have lost a lot. Okay. Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. That just got hot. Somebody then took an L. Yeah, we got mental illness, suffering, 
needing therapy, plagued with depression. Okay, somebody's suffering with depression. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, they might be in uh, denial about it. Okay, keeping it to themselves, trying to stay busy, overworking, or something like that, overeating. They're doing something too much, okay? Trying to ignore it, okay? Yeah, somebody's suffering from some sort of loss, too. Mourning. You guys are mourning together. You might have lost a child, but might have lost a best friend, might have lost a family member, parent, or something. Okay, mourning together, depressed mood, death of a loved one, okay? Yeah. You guys might be in mourning together, okay? The person is definitely stalking you, very jealous, triggered, worried, okay? Stalking your social media, Lord have mercy. This type of energy is never healthy, okay? If this is not your person, this is definitely somebody who's interested in you or they're interested in your person, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a very jealous energy who likes to watch you to death and bite their nails. Lord have mercy, okay? You got a message coming in. All right. Uh -huh. They might be calling from a block number, love bombing you, ready to speak their mind. Okay. We got some unexpected messages coming in. Uh huh. Right on top of that reverse snake. If this person snaked you before, they don't want to snake you again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have fake lover. Okay. Staying around for hidden intentions. Gold digger looking for a handout. Uh, fake love offer wants something you have, okay? Mm -hmm. This could be what your person is trying to get away from, a fake lover, okay? This could be what they thought that you was going to do to them and it was already being done to them, okay? Oh, Lord have mercy, Virgo. Sometimes we need to take applications as women, as men too, shit. Sometimes you need to have somebody fill out an application and do a background check on their asses, okay? Ask the, ask the last person they was dating some questions. <laughs> fill out this questionnaire so I can do a reference check on your ass before I date you. Lord, spirit come through. Can I have some more messages for Virgo? Virgo, this is definitely your read. Messages is coming through is def definitely meant for you, okay? A Pisces might be significant in your life. A Pisces might be trying to get back in your energy, okay? Uh-huh. Very two-faced energy, all right? You might be dating a Pisces. This might be a friend or a family member. Very two-faced energy, okay? One minute they cool, next minute they hating on you, jealous of you. Be mindful of that, all right? You're not that desperate for anybody, okay? Yeah, this person had you in a third-party situation, okay? Whoever was dating a Pisces, okay? Uh-huh. Very popular energy, too, Virgo. All right? Uh-huh. You or your person. If you're dating a Pisces, that person cries a lot. They're very emotional, okay? They play victim a lot, too, like, like you did it to them, but... It's all they're doing. They just take no responsibility at all. Okay. Okay. Magic in reverse. Okay. So that's a good thing. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't think about you. All right. You're done. All right. You might have told this person you don't think about them. If this person was trying to do magic on you, whoever was trying to do magic on you, it's been it has backfired. Okay. Whatever you guys are doing is working. Okay, if you're taking your spiritual baths, if you're doing reversal, uh, uh, reversals, burning reversal candles, or you're doing reversal jobs, it's working. Okay, if you're putting down your black salt, if you're putting down your rare brick dust, if you're taking your bath and you're in gingla or you're eat, oh, uh, eat, eat, um, and you eat, what is it? In gingla bark and your ebo, obo bark. Yeah, it's working, okay? Whatever it is, you're the sea salt, lemons, whatever you're doing to break any magic that's sent your way, it's working, okay? Yeah, somebody's stressed too. Somebody's really stressed why they shit is not working on you, okay? Somebody think they're good at it. This is an Aquarius energy. All right, where it goes? Somebody think they're good at it. They think they know what they're doing, but they don't know who you are, okay? Yeah, some of you are definitely protected as beings, light workers, star seeds. Okay, uh huh. You're on a higher level spiritually. 
Okay? You come from a different rank or something like that. They don't realize that whoever this is who's trying to hurt you. Okay? Uh-huh. Perfect credit. All right? Some of you are doing good with your uh, credit score. You're trying to get something that's that's important to you. You're moving in silence. Okay? Could be about to buy something, a big purchase or something. High credit or good credit is required. Well, don't worry. You have perfect credit. Especially if you're trying to move or something. Okay. Uh -huh. Some of you have changed your diet. We got vegan. All right. Some of you are thinking about eating healthier. Uh huh. You're about to receive some keys. Okay. Definitely moving. You could have dreamt about moving, dreamt about a house or something like that. Yeah. Uh huh. Some of you are dealing with a Libra as well. Okay. A Libra might be coming in for your. You're doing this with a Libra or something like that. Okay. A Libra loves you, okay, Virgo? You got a Libra who loves you very much, okay? Yeah, this person holds back. They're silent about it. They don't let they don't let it be known, but they do. They could be very childish too. Okay? They could be devastated or heartbroken. Can't stop crying over you. Okay. You might have left this person behind. Uh-huh. They feel they don't have you like they used to. You just ask them to be your friend. You just want to be good friends with them. Okay. Okay, they're taking it hard. They don't want to be just friends. They want more. <laughs> they want more. Why don't you want to give them more or something like that, okay? Spirit come through. Spirit come through. All right. Some of you could be dealing with a... Capricorn, all right, uh -huh, uh -huh. hard work will pay off, discipline, strategic, rigid, tenacity, weigh every pro and con, looking for balance, okay, uh -huh. we got not in this lifetime, but it's in reverse, okay, so if you really was thinking that this is not in this, your lifetime, or not in this lifetime that you would be with this person, it's in reverse, okay, it says some things are not meant to be, but it's in reverse, all right. Yeah, somebody's returning. You got the temperance. This is a return of a lover. Okay, yeah, tower. This is something unexpected. You might hear from this person out the blue. Okay, out the blue, this person might pop back up, might do something uh, that's out of the ordinary, you know, something you're not expecting or something like that. This person might do something that they never did before or something like that. Okay. Yeah, they're still holding on to hope when it comes to you, all right? Uh -huh. They feel that this, whatever they had with you has stalled. You don't feel the same. You don't want them like you used to, all right? Spirit come through. We have January, another chance to get it right. New Year's goals, restart, resolution, adjust your motives. You might have seen, like, uh, more consistency since the New Year, Okay. You might have heard from this person more or something like that. This person might be on your heels more since the start of the year. Okay. We got swinging, moving back and forth in time, unsure, maybe undecided. Let's go. Let go of the past to see the future. Okay. This person does want more with you. Okay. This person does want more with you. Very wishy-washy energy here today going tomorrow back and forth, back and forth, okay? Or this could be you, very unsure yourself, maybe undecided yourself. You could be back and forth, justice card. Uh -huh. You're still trying to get over some injustice here. It's, you're still a little angry about something. You still got trust issues about something. You still want the truth on something. Yeah. This person let you down some shape from a fashion. You want an explanation. You want an apology, all right? All right. They're getting a great deal of karma for it, so you don't have to worry about it. They get, the spirit is definitely kicking their ass for it. Whether you get your, your apology or not, whether you get an explanation or not, not to worry. Okay. This is definitely uh, being called to correction. All right. Yeah, we got the chariot. Here they come. Somebody's trying to come towards you. Somebody has every intentions on getting back in touch with you. You know this too. High priestess energy. They might be trying to call you all the time. All right. You might have them on block. 
Uh -huh. When you see them, you might duck. You might you might be just trying to avoid them yourself. But you know this person is trying to come towards you. And you just feel like you're not ready yet. Yeah, your whole new world came in for you. You're in a whole new different energy. Yeah, this is some sort of endings. But yet you got some sort of beginnings starting too, okay? You're trying to end something with one person. And start a whole new life somewhere else. But this person is trying to take back control. Father figure type energy. You could have a child with this person. Uh-huh. Somebody's trying to get back in your good graces, Virgo. They want to in the worst way. You're being strong. They see your strength. Okay? They see something in you they never seen before. Okay? You didn't, you didn't show it before because you were so in love with them. But now that you pulled back your energy, you're showing them a different side. Okay? In just a few weeks, the universe is supporting you. Network, meeting, socializing. Eventually, everything connects. Okay, so eventually you will see this person. You will connect with this person. You'll get a chance to say what you want to say. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my read. I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. Ashe.